Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Snap. In today's video, we shall be looking at the cast of True Grit, then and where they are now. Let's get started. John Wayne John Wayne was 62 years old then and died in 1979 when he was 72 years old. He is regarded as one of the greatest actors in the silent era of Hollywood in the 1920s through the American New Wave. Kim Darby Kim Darby was only 22 years old then and is now 74 years old. She comes from a family of performers, as her parents were professional dancers and her mother's siblings were comedians, the Weir Brothers. Glenn Campbell Glenn Campbell was 33 years old then and died in 2017 when he was 81 years old. In addition to acting, he was also a successful musician and hosted the Glenn Campbell Good Time Hour from 1969 to 1972. Dennis Lee Hopper Dennis Lee Hopper was 33 years old in 1979 and died from prostate cancer in 2010 when he was 74 years old. He was also an acclaimed photographer starring in the 60s. Strother Martin Strother Martin was 50 years old in 1969 and died from heart attack in 1980 when he was 61 years old. He was a swimming instructor for the US Navy during World War II. Jeremy Slate Jeremy Slate was 43 years old then and died in 2006 from esophageal cancer when he was 80 years old. He joined the US Navy at age 16 and took part in the Normandy invasion during the Second World War. Jeff Corey Jeff Corey was 55 years old then and died in 2002 when he was 88 years old. He was a Russian Jew and was blacklisted for 12 years for refusing to give names of communists in the entertainment industry. Donald Woods Donald Woods was 63 years old in 1969 and died in 1998 when he was 91 years old. His career both on film and television spanned over six decades and he was also a renowned real estate broker. James Westerfield James Westerfield was 56 years old then and died from a heart attack in 1971 when he was 58 years old. He was also a theatrical director, directing more than 50 musicals. Ken Rennard Ken Rennard was 64 years old in 1969 and died when he was 88 years old. He was among the first African American characters to take a non-stereotypical role. John Doucette John Doucette was 49 years old then and died in 1994 when he was 73 years old. He was common in Shakespearean plays due to his deep, rich voice and also appeared in over 280 film and TV productions. John Fiedler John Fiedler was 45 years old in 1969 and died in 2005 when he was 80 years old. He served the Second World War and also voiced Piglet in Disney's Winnie the Pooh productions. H.W. Gem H.W. Gem was 61 years old then and died in 1973 when he was 65 years old. He's best known for his roles in the films such as McLintock in 1963 and Old California in 1942. J. Ripley Jay Ripley was only 16 years old then and is now 68. He's also known for his role in the film Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. Ron Sabi Ron Sabi was 41 years old in 1969 and died of lung and brain cancer in 2002 when he was 74 years old. He is also famous for his roles in the films like Al Capone, The Beast Within, I Mobster, and Walk Tall. Edith Atwater Edith Atwater was 58 years old then and died from cancer in 1986 when she was 74 years old. She got her Broadway breakthrough in 1933 and was also a member of the Actors' Equity Association. Alfred Ryder Alfred Ryder was 53 years old in 1969 and died in 1995 when he was 79 years old. He was famous for his role as Sammy in The Goldbergs and he was also a life member of the Actors' Studio. John Pickard John Pickard was 56 years old then and died in 1993 when he was 80 years old. He served in the US Navy and was the model of the naval recruitment posters in World War II. Kenneth Becker Kenneth Becker was 38 years old in 1969 and died when he was 68 years old. He is famous for his features in Elvis Presley films. Carlos Rivas Carlos Rivas was 44 years old then and died in 2003 at 78. He was one of the founders of the Nostras Foundation that aimed to advocate for Latinos and improve the depiction of Hispanics in entertainment. 
Elizabeth Harrower Elizabeth Harrower was 51 years old in 1969 and died in 2003 when she was 85 years old. She was born during World War I and had a rough childhood after her parents died when she was young. Robert Duval Robert Duval was 38 years old then and is now 91 years old. He's played in many films and won a BAFTA Award, two Primetime Emmy Awards, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and a Golden Globe Award. Thanks for watching.